got what you wanted. We are we have to do fresh new cooking mama. My lovely imps, welcome to the part of the show where Demon Mama reacts to cooking, okay? A lot of bad cooking, a lot of disgusting cooking, and once in a while some really really good cooking. I'm very passionate about cooking. I think food is awesome and I think that food is art. But sometimes on the internet we find ourselves in nightmare zones of cooking. You see, there are a lot of people out there who think that they, who truly believe that they are excellent cooks, and then they go on to poison the entire dinner party. And what we do here on Cooking Mama is we, well, we witness it. We at least... We at least pay witness to the fact that uh, that these poor souls that have to eat this nasty cooking, we're just we're kind of just like there in spirit, you know. It's 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 great, um, you know. So anyway, let's uh let's watch this. This is called Auntie Fee's baked chicken. Now we've watched Auntie Fee before, and Auntie Fee and Tavis have actually cooked some really yummy food in the past. So I'm wondering whether this is going to be good food or whether this is going to be bad food. Um, we're going to have to find out, I guess. This is the first one. This is called Auntie Fee's baked chicken. Let's let's find out. What are we doing now? <sighs> okay, this is a uh, this is a bag of chicken. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, see that say first street, right? Okay. Okay. Now I, I, I prefer this this kind of chicken, okay? Because this is some good ass chicken, okay? Mm -hmm. It ain't all fat and nothing like that there. So this is what I'm gonna do with this here. Mm -hmm. Watch this here, real real easy. Okay. Now you notice I didn't tear the bag because I'm gonna put it back in the bag. Come on over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is frozen chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want it frozen? No, God no. That's disgusting. This one is sitting in the drain. No. Frozen, but you want to wash it up, okay? Wash it up. Now, I don't know how many this will feed or whatever, but somebody just want to know how to cook something really good. Wash it off. Okay, now this chicken is still frozen, okay? Mm -hmm. Now this is what we're going to do. Watch and see. Really okay, good. okay, hold on. Let me... Okay, I have to tell you. One of the things I try to do when we're doing Cooking Mama, for those who are new to Cooking Mama, is I always try to tell you the reasons why you shouldn't do a thing if there's a thing that you shouldn't do. Sinks are filthy, okay? They are disgusting. They are filthy, okay? It is, it, they are not clean. You wash things in a sink with soap so that it goes down the drain, but the sink itself, even if you're really good, even if you scrub the sink really well, they are not clean places. If you don't believe me, then, then, I dare you. Do the clean sink challenge. Take your finger, run it around the inside of your sink, and then lick it and see how sick you get, okay? Uh, don't do this. That is, I was, that was a joke. That was a joke. Do not do that, okay? The reason being is you will get sick. You wash dirty things in a sink. The sink itself is not clean. You clean the things in the sink and everything washes down the drain. And the worst part about this, as we have seen as we were watching this, is that the chicken has touched the actual drain itself. Now, I don't know... Uh, if any of you have ever actually taken a good look into your drain, but let me tell you that even if you are very, very, very good about cleaning your sink, drains get disgusting, okay? They are, the way that drains are designed, they have cracks and creases that fill with bacterial life. That chicken is scooping up contaminants like nothing else. This is so far a biohazard rating. This is like the maximal level. This is like, what the hell, this is like the highest rating of the SCP uh, oh, oh my god, like what the hell is it? It's, 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 uh, I don't even remember. What are they called? I can't even remember it right now. I'm blanking. It's fucking, it's, it's danger levels. This is like Chernobyl level biohazard. Yeah, Keter. Keter is like the highest one. Holy shit. Bring your ass on. Make sure you don't miss nothing. Okay. If 
What is that? Yeah, okay, this is season salt. But no! If, if you like, low, you don't like to use all this to make you sick, don't use too much of it then. But I'm sure you get down in here in the sink. Okay, okay, you put some on there. Okay, mm -hmm. now that was season salt. Now this is paprika. Now paprika is only for some color and make it look good. It don't do nothing for no seasoning. Okay, that's paprika. This is black pepper. I'm gonna show you. This is black. Never, ever, ever do this. Do not do this. Whatever you do, do not fucking do this. Okay? Never do this. Never mix anything in the sink. Get a clean bowl. Mix it there. Okay? Never. This is the worst thing that you can possibly do. These things are all stewing in their own contaminants. This is horrible. Black pepper. And this is... Uh Actually, you know what? Let me add some illustration to this. One time, way back in like 2017, I think. I think it was 2017. Yeah, I think it was 2017. Uh, or maybe even 2016. It actually might have been 2016. I got salmonella. I got salmonella from food that I ate at a restaurant while traveling. I don't remember all the details uh, of where we got it. It's a, it, was, it was while we were traveling. I got salmonella. And let me tell you, it was very bad, okay? It was a miserable, miserable experience. I was sick for about a month. My, I could not sit up. I was nauseous perpetually for about a month. I was dehydrated. I was in agony. It was one of the most agonizing experiences of my entire life. Getting salmonella was so horrible. It was the, it was like food poisoning that never ended. Um, don't get salmonella, okay? So that's rule number one. Rule number one is don't get salmonella. And rule number two is this will give you salmonella. So whatever you do, never, ever do this. What are the symptoms of salmonella? Nausea, stomach pain, severe diarrhea, uh, and dehydration. It sucks, okay? I was sick for a literal month. It was horrible, okay? It's bad. I'm glad I survived too, but it was very, very difficult. And literally, I only survived because basically I moved to a liquid diet of like uh, coconut water, uh, Pedialyte. Basically, I was on a liquid diet for like a month and toast. I would occasionally eat toast. It was genuinely terrible. You really will be miserable for 30 days straight. Yes, it is very bad. Do not eat the sink meat. Let's continue. Uh, garlic salt. A lot of people, if you don't, you, you, it's optional to use this shit if you don't want to use it, okay? Now, this is parsley, dry parsley, okay? Mm -hmm. You see that shit right there? Mm -hmm. This motherfucker make any motherfucking thing taste good, okay? I'm gonna open it. I ain't got time to be parsley is sprinkles good. and all that. See that? Sprinkle ah! that on right that there, okay? What the now, hell? You got an option on this shit here, okay? Okay. What you gotta do, please look at this here, okay? You mix all this up. No! You see the water in there and all that kind of shit there? Ooh! See that? You mix all of this up really good. Okay, now, make sure you all red. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is one of the worst I've ever seen! This is- this is one of the worst I've ever seen! Shit, because that shit make a pretty color to the shit. Okay, anyway, you got that like that there. Mm -hmm. Then... You got an option. You say, okay, now do I want a gravy with this mm. or I don't want a gravy, mm -hmm. okay? This, and you can put this in the oven like it is. You won't get no gravy, mm. and it'll still have a little juice to it. It'll be moist. Always going to be moist, okay? Mm. Or if you want a little gravy to it, you take your, um, this is my flour here, and look how much you... By the way, just note that she has been touching the chicken this entire time. She's been wiping her hands around in there, touching the chicken, and then going over and picking up the shakers. She also cl she also touched the handles of the sink uh, and has not washed her hand in between. This is a contamination nightmare. She has contaminated... She has put uh, 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 poultry bacteria all over the bottles the seasonings the handles just terribly
spray on this little bit of shit right here. You, you looking down in there, Tavis? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to show you how much to put on there. Sprinkle just a little bit on top of it. Like that there. It's going to make its own. You don't have to use no water or nothing. It's going to make its own water gravy because the chicken is frozen. And you, we didn't throw it out. So it's going to make some water and to add with this. That's all you need. This right here. And you take this right here and put it back in the bag. Put it back in the bag. Until you get ready, you can put it. Zip it back up, zip it back up in, in the freezer. Wait a minute, let me put all this in there and show you. Because some people, I ain't going too fast for y'all. Because uh, I hope not. Okay, clean this thing out. And then let me just show you. And you take this and zip this back she up. She just wiped her fingers through the drain. Zip it back up. Contaminant. Out of it. Okay. This here, put it back in the fridge. Literally, as Sock Dunn Left points out, they could have just spiced it in the bag. She didn't even need to take it out of the bag. She could have just dumped all the spices into the bag and then shaken it. She already said it's ice. It's it's frozen, so it does have water in it. Literally, what? I promise you, when you get ready for this, mm -hmm. put it, t take it out of here. Mm -hmm. Don't have to break it up and then put it in a pan, mm -hmm. put it on 350, mm -hmm. cook for about two and a half hours, mm -hmm. three hours if you want it to just fall off the motherfucking bone. I swear this shit will. So that's where you do this here. Mm -hmm. And three hours, you don't have to add nothing. When it come out, three it's hours? got gravy and everything. You don't got to do it. Three hours? At three hours at 350, no fucking shot. No fucking shot. Those will be fucking charcoal. A motherfucking thing. We'll get you a little corn or something you want to put on the side. I'm just... Oh, Lord. I, I'm just this food just got me so... And everybody want to see this and shit. So, therefore, I got to make sure um, uh, it, it's real good. And I'll tell you everything because I don't want your motherfucking... It will kill the bacteria. That's true. At three hours, all of the bacteria should be dead, and all you have to think about is the fact that you are eating st you are eating drain drain boogers. You're eating drain butter. It's no bacteria is left in it, but you know you get the yummy flavor of the drain butter. Just calling me about a motherfucking thing, and you'd be like, "Yeah, she said it. She said that's all you had to do with it." So, put it in the freezer or take it out before you go to work and put it on the counter. And if it thaws out, that's even better. Then no! That is not better. That is not better. That is worse. If it thaws out, it's going to be all of that bacteria is going to come to life. Are you fucking crazy? You can, uh, you can uh, cook it later on for your family. Now that's that on that one there. Oh my God, she just rinsed her hands. She All she did was rinse her hands and then wipe it on the, on the towel. And then when it come out, it's got... Oh, oh Lord, what? I just this food just got me. Make sure said that's all you had to do with it. So get out before you go to the counter. Better. Then you can uh you can uh cook it later on for your Rinse family. And now wipe that all of the minute. all of that bacteria right on that hand towel. And if she hangs it back up, then she wipes the Oh my fucking god. Oh my dear god. Oh no, she did it again. She's done it again. Why? Should we watch another Auntie Fee? Why did you... What, what's this one? Alright, so today I'm finna piss some people off. Y'all be in my comments trying to piss me off, so it's only... This was from four months ago. This is from four months ago. Now we have to see if these people are 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 uh, grifters or not. Let's see it. All right, that I come back and piss y'all off. Today we make it sing chicken. Now for those that know, they know. For those that don't, they all gonna find out today.
saying? I just washed my chicken and took all the feathers and cleaned it. So now, I'm gonna put it right here. Now don't ask me why I didn't put the shit in the bowl. I don't want to put it in the bowl, okay? If you want that shit to taste like your grandmama shit back in the day, then you gotta do it this way. If not, hey. Toilet cleanser. Everybody, as you all know, a uh, toilet cleanser will perfectly, uh, if you spray a little bit of that shit on there and you rinse it down, not only is there no risk of contaminating your actual chicken with dangerous chemicals, but hey, it also will definitely kill all of the bacteria that's been festering in your disgusting fucking kitchen. I am vegan pilling the entire chat. Yes, everybody, the secret, the top secret is that Cooking Mama was a vegan psyop to get you all to forever stop eating meat. And it's succeeding. Let's continue. So we're going to take our seasoning salt. Put a little seasoning salt on there. Okay. Don't be scared to season your shit. Then we Just use a bowl. I promise you. Your grandmother's chicken was not good because it was made in a filthy fucking sink. Nor is it good because it was made in a sink with fucking industrial grade toilet cleaner. None of those things are what made your grandma's chicken good. What made your grandma's chicken good is fucking nostalgia and the fact that she probably bought it at fucking Popeye's or KFC five minutes before dinner and didn't tell you. Take some black pepper. Take the black pepper. Then we're gonna take a little garlic salt. Evil Mushroom 334 says, what the hell did I tune back into? I'm so sorry. You've tuned back into a segment of Cooking Mama where we are witnessing true cooking horrors. So please sit down and believe, and keep your arms and legs inside of the vehicle at all times and you will be safe. I assure you the food cannot hurt you. It can only induce a sense of disgust but it's for your own good because if you are disgusted by what you see here you won't repeat the mistakes in real life see it's advanced i have an I, this show is an advanced level of learning not a lot of this because this shit can get real salty okay we're gonna take our onion powder oh my god okay. holy and shit and then we're gonna take a little that's a lot of onion powder. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of onion. Garlic powder. Oh my God. Okay. And after Dude, this, we need chill. to add our flour. Just a little bit, just to make our gravy and stuff. So you want to do that like that. Flour, now we just going to mix this shit up all together. Okay? Oh. Mix it up. I I'm sorry. I kind of feel like this is a grift. Like, don't you feel like they had they had viral success with the video, and so they're just doing it again to get more clicks for their channel? Like, this feels like they're intentionally doing something that they know is wrong now, and they're doing it because they know that it will, like, generate clicks, and it's kind of succeeding right now. Adam Ragusea did a, did a video on the history of meat washing. Oh, interesting. Okay. Maybe we'll watch that. I actually don't know about anything about the 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 very basics of like kitchen sick meat washing. I've never really understood people who like like wash the meat in the sink from the bag. I don't know. Let's continue. Now I'm gonna add me some paprika on here. Wait, Auntie Fee died? Wait, is that for real? Oh my god, Auntie Fee is dead. Was it from food poisoning? No, it was from a heart attack. <sighs> Let's continue. Remember, this shit is for the color. Nah, this guy, this guy made this four months ago. Uh, it, it's okay. It's the sh the video is still funny. Okay. Did she, she die four months ago? No, she died in 2017. So she died like years ago. Well, look, 
I don't want to speculate at anything whatsoever. There is all kinds of reasons you can have a heart attack. Nobody is immune to having a heart attack, okay? But I will say that having multiple bouts of food poisoning does do damage to your organ systems. So regardless, you should avoid getting food poisoning uh, as much as possible, okay? That's as simple as that, okay? Let's laugh at the sink chicken now. In your chicken, I have forgot one last ingredient that is the dry parsley. You don't want to forget this step. You want to add your dry parsley in there because this makes a lot, this makes a big difference when you're doing this shit, you know. And like I said, all these ingredients, these just my ingredients, so you don't got to make well, your Well, now he's using a bowl. Why did he switch to a bowl? Why did he just, why didn't he just use a bowl to begin with? It's almost like the sink doesn't actually matter and they're just doing that for clicks. This way you can do your shit any way you please. So don't get on here talking about what don't go in here and what can you put in this my this is my chicken that I'm making for my family so I can do as I please. Okay, dude, uh my family my rules doesn't really apply to actually poisoning your family, okay? I'm sorry. Uh, I acknowledge that your techniques are significantly better than Auntie Fee's. Like you actually cleaned out your sink and you also didn't touch an open drain. You put like a plug into the drain. So obviously this is significantly safer than the last one, but that's not a huge improvement. The bar was so low. Now it's time to put our chicken in the pan. We're just gonna line these bad boys up like this. Mind you, it's just my way. Y'all ain't gotta do them. Nothing like this if you don't want to. You can do this shit any way you want to please. I ain't got to go in here a certain type of way or none of that. This video is you very defensive. The, 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 the defensive energy does not sell this recipe very well. Being like, well, uh, hey guys, I you can do it however the fuck you want, but this I'm going to do it this way. You can do it however you want. If you don't like the chicken, if the chicken makes you and your family hospitalized, that's between you and God, not, not me, dude. This is how I do it. Just because I have a strong stomach and your family has a weak gut, gut biome because you don't eat like the sewer droppings. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's food safety cancel culture. Holy shit, dude. I line these bad boys up like this. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Damn, I thought I had enough room, so. Now we ready for the next part. It's time for the colorful shit now. So we're gonna take our chopped up bell peppers. Let's put them all around on here. Okay. Alright. We're gonna take a little melted butter, just a little bit, and we're gonna drizzle it. So now you wanna take a little bit of water and pour it in the corners. Don't pour it directly on top of the chicken because you don't want that to knock off the seasoning. This right here is how we're gonna make as far as a little gravy at the bottom. And you might have to add as you go because it might dry out, but you don't wanna do too much. about how much water we gonna start off with if I need to add as I go I will right now I don't want to do too much so now our chicken is ready to go in the oven now so I got everything got to put a lid on top of it you can use foil however you want we're gonna put this in the oven for two hours on 350 you can do three hours if you want the best you want the shit to fall off the motherfucking bone then you know to do it for three hours on 350 but I'm gonna do mine for two and a half hours because the people I'm trying to feed they want to eat you see all that right there I'll turn that over into the gravy. It's only at two and a half hours. I'm going to let it cook for about another 30 more minutes because I want it to fall a little more. Okay. Y'all see how it's just ripping up like that. Please share, subscribe. The people that's mad, I need y'all to... So he ended up doing it for three hours after all. Keep talking about it because I already know what y'all on. Okay, I will say this is what I remember. I remember... Uh, I, the last time we watched Auntie Fee and Tavis, I remember coming away and saying that this guy's food actually looked good. It was, um, let me see if I can find it. I think it was a burger video, like a smashed burger that he did. I 
I wonder if I can remember. I swear to God, it was this guy. And we were like, his, his, his food was good. So maybe he's just a better cook. Because that looked way better than Auntie Fee's. Like, Auntie Fee's was sus as fuck, and there were so many contaminants. Cannabis macadamia butter. Steak pizza sandwich. Auntie Fee's fish sandwich. I don't remember what it was called. I swear to God, he did like a smashed burger or something. Yeah, Tavis. Tavis seemed like he's like an actually like a really good cook, but I'm not 100%. I don't know what's, I don't know. I don't want to judge too hard. That first one was atrocious. This one was much better. I still do not understand. I still think that the sink thing is for a meme. Like it doesn't make sense to me. Um, I have a search bar. Yeah, I do, but. Maybe it wasn't this guy. Oh yeah, we watched her how to feed seven people with just $3 and this one was interesting. Maybe it wasn't a smash burger. Maybe it was something else. Huh. I don't know. We did watch her. We did watch her three dollar uh, feed seven people with three dollars, and we, I remember concluding that this one was fine. <laughs> 